Oh, and it is nine o'clock. Good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Wednesday, the 24th of November, 2021. My name is Pam DeFelice, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. This service is streamed live every weekday morning at 9 a.m. exclusively on Zoom. To participate in the live service, go to goodsheponline.org, select the worship drop-down list and click on prayer. Scroll down and you will find the service leaflet for today's service. Just look for today's date. Immediately above the service leaflets, there is an image of prayer books in the pews. Click on the link to join via Zoom. This service will be available beginning at 10 a.m. on all Good Shepherd's communication channels, Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer page of goodsheponline.org. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Good morning, Wendy. It's nice to see you. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Let us say the Venite in unison. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Today we will say portions of Psalm 119. I call with my whole heart, answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, 
Oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning, I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness, according to your judgments, give me life. They draw me, they draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Behold my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me according to your promise. Give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, in your mercy, preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forever. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your, of your word. I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. For them, there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord, and have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first lesson is from Obadiah. For the day of the Lord is near against all the nations. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your deeds shall return on your own head. For as you have drunk on my holy mountain, all the nations around you shall drink. They shall drink and gulp down and shall, and shall be as though they have never been. But on Mount Zion, there shall be those who escape and it shall be holy. And the house of Jacob shall take possession of those who dispossessed them. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau stubble. They shall burn them and consume them, and there shall be no survivor of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. Those of the Negev shall possess Mount Esau, and those of Shepla, the land of the Philistines, 
They shall possess the land of Ephraim and the land of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. The exiles of the Israelites who are in Hala shall possess Phoenicia as far as Zarephath, and the exiles of Jerusalem who are in Sarafat, Sarad, Sefrat, Sefrat, shall possess the towns of the Negev. Those who have been saved shall go up on Mount Zion to rule Mount Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the third song of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you, the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day by night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The second lesson is from 1 Peter. Rid yourselves, therefore, of all malice and of all guile, insincerity, envy, and all slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him a living stone though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, see, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe he is precious, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders reject has become the very head of the corner and a stone that makes them stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old <clears throat> that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. 
he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten but nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day, Proper 29. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A collect to commemorate Catherine of Alexandria, Barbara of Nicodemia, and Margaret of Antioch, martyrs, circa 300. Embolden your church, O God, with the stories of your saints, Catherine, Barbara, and Margaret, 
that we might face all trials and ad adver adversities with a fearless mind and a, an unbroken spirit, knowing that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ, who strengthens us through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A Collect for Guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A collect for the mission of Good Shepherd. Loving God, you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, that we might have hope of eternal life and the Holy Spirit to sustain us in our faith in you. Give us grace to be a beacon of faith, hope, and love in this community that we may radiate the transforming power of your love to everyone, everywhere who live and reign together, one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and particularly those throughout the Anglican communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Iba, South Sudan, the Right Reverend Wilson Kamani Bishop, we pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and our Companion Diocese, remembering today, especially the Diocese of Haiti, the Right Reverend jean Zachre Durasan, Bishop. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Joe, Leslie, Patty, Shirley, Pam, Sally, Alice's family, Mike and Alicia and family, Mary, Tindy, Stephen and Jennifer, Kristen, Allison and family, Keith and Janet, Susan, Sarah, Jeff, Frank, Becky's family, Patricia, Elaine, Priscilla, Steve, and Joey. We pray also today for our GROW Ministries, remembering especially book groups that in the spiritual horizons of the members of Good Shepherd, may be expanded through the readings and discussions of literature and our Lenten education series that the members of Good Shepherd may use the Lenten season to prepare for the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord. A prayer for clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of your grace, and that they may truly please you, pour upon them the continual dew of your blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our, of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held 
in the silence of your hearts. Ian says, Thanksgiving for our food pantry, which provided Thanksgiving dinner, including turkey and all the fixings to a record 52 families and an estimated 183 individuals yesterday. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad for those people. And Joan says, happy birthday to me. Thank you, Joan and Lori. In North Carolina, it's 26 degrees. <laughs> Ooh. And Ian says, pray for the safety of all who travel to gather with family and friends this holy holiday week. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting old, Wendy. <laughs> A prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. And I... I pray everyone has a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for praying with me this morning. See you next time. <laughs>